Good morning, folks. Hey, I'm a, today we're going to show you, here's what we caught today on our trip. And we're going to show you how I clean uh, my white perch when I get home. And uh, we're going to clean quite a few for you just to give you an idea of my speed. Uh, we got yellow jackets flying everywhere, so there'll be some yellow jackets flying. They, lo they love the smell of these fish, and they come from everywhere. But uh, we own a picnic table out here, an old picnic table I got. And I want to show you a few jigs that I use today to catch these fish. Uh, we use the uh, Swimming Meta 3-inch by Slider, uh, the uh, uh, Tennessee Shad Color Swimming Meta. I cut a little bit off because I use a small head, uh, 1 8 head, but, and also a Blue Ice and Chartreuse. Those are the primary ones we caught most of them on. Then we got the, uh, that's the, the bass jig, walleye and bass jig. Uh, it's the three inch uh, bass grub, and that's what it's called from Slider. And uh, also, the monkey shine has been really good here lately, too. Uh, that's an inch and a half, monkey shine. And then the blue, blue ice and, and chartreuse. Uh, it's been really good on the inch and a half and uh, So the swimming uh, two and an eighth inch swimming minnow Along with the three inch bass grub and those are the colors that I've been catching them on better than any of them here lately <clears throat> We're one eighth head and also I Want to give you a good view. I think it's 35 or so uh, perch here Some of them's nice some of them small just a good overall size of perch and we're going to try to show you how to clean these babies uh if y'all bear with me uh i'll try to get everything in order here and uh first of all what i like to get and i get them from track supply is these gloves right here they kind of rubberized and it's uh i-r-o-n-t-o-n uh uh coated gloves this is a brand new pair, and I'll show you what they look like. I always like to use these. They're very inexpensive, and it protects your hands real good. And that's the gloves I use when I'm cleaning my fish. And, I, and also, I like to use a 7-inch Dexter knife. Of course, the handle's done, uh, got dark on this one. It's so old. It's come with a, was a saw blade like back here, but I have sharpened it so much the saw blade's gone. So it's a slick blade, and I like the slick blade. The saw blade part of it slows me up. When I get it ground down to a slick, a slick blade, and then I like a little saw in the back in case I want to cut something, but the saw is about gone on this one. That's an old knife. And the scalum, I use an old scaler from Walmart, or uh, uh, tractor supply, or wherever you can find a fish scaler. Um, uh, Sportsman Warehouse. Academy Sports, I believe, has got them, or Walmart. But anyhow, what I like to do, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this good or not, but we're on a picnic table and got it stretched out up here. And uh, I like to have my gloves on at all times. Protects my hands. And, uh, and if you got an apron, it's probably good to have an apron. This table here uh, is not high as I'd like for it to be. So see, we got some nice perch. Some of them are really nice. Uh, some of them are really jumbo magnums. Them's good perch. And uh, some of these are going to probably be big enough to fillet, and we might fillet one, but I won't. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do most of them whole. I think that's the biggest one yet. Uh, we're going to do, we'll fillet the first one, and uh, hopefully you can see this. I'm going to tilt it down right in here. And. Uh, what I do, and I hope you can see it, I can't tell if you can or not, but what I do is I come in behind the head when I'm filleting a perch, and I'll go down to 45. And then I'll turn my knife and go right along that backbone and, and let the backbone hold my knife blade in. And I'll do the other side the same way. Of course, I got my old cat. He's going to be here aggravating it. He loves my fish. He's a stray cat, but he lives apparently lives close by. And we come up with a um, a, a backbone piece, and I, I throw the head and the backbone away, and we got we got a fillet here. 
So what I do at this point is I come right around the edge of the rib cage and I'll turn my knife and I hold my hand down on the rib cage and I just turn my knife and go out against the skin. And then you got a nice piece of filet, uh, a perch filet. And this cat, he's waiting for this piece right here with the, with the meat and the, and the rib cage on. He loves these pieces. So here, kitty, here. He loves them pieces. That's what he eats. All right, now we got a little red meat right in here. I'm going to trim that out. You don't have to on a perch, but I do. And I'll kind of buckle it up on each side, push it together, and come right down that red, red uh, street. And of course, the cat does love that. Here, kitty. Here, kitty. Come on. Come on. Here. The dog gone here. Cat don't even want to listen. But hey, we got a perfect piece of filet. You can't beat it. We're gonna throw them in the pan over there with the water. We're gonna do the other side. I hope y'all can see this. Get these out of the way, I might come a little closer. All right, right down the edge of the rib cage, bend the knife and go out, is what we're gonna do. And at this point, we're gonna trim the red meat out for the cat. And you got a perfect little piece of filet. All right, come on kitty. Kitty's wanting to rub on my pole and shake my camera. Okay. Now, all right, now, when I go to scaling the fish, I take the scaler, and what I do, and I'm going to let you watch it, I go down on the top first, I hold it, and then come down to the bottom of the belly, and then get the middle. Now I get the top. Then I come right down the side of the top fins, and then I go along the bottom edge, and he's, he's scaled. And like I, I like to throw them in a pan of water to wash the scales off them before I take the intestines out. Let's do one a little faster. What I do is go just like that, down the back. If I get in a hurry, and I do that. This is what we do normally every day, in a hurry. Speed scaling, what I call it. You done, I've done so much and I get the scales off. It might look like I'm missing some, but I ain't missing. I got a system. So we speed scaling. What I do every day when I get home, as I clean all the fish, put them in freezer bags, put them in the freezer or refrigerator. When somebody wants to come over and want some fish, there they are. I don't waste them. Now that's a small one, but that's the size I like to eat. All right, we're gonna turn around and I'm going to rinse these scales off, and I'm going to show you how, how I uh, get my bucket here in place. I'm going to rinse the scales off here. All right. We got a lot more scale, but I'm going to show you how, I how what I do is I take the back fin out and the bottom fin out chop him across and I'll show you how I'm gonna do all that. I like to take the knife and go right along that fin, cut down. Okay, now turn him over. Go right along that fin. And then I'll put my knife on it and pull. And it pulls it right out, see? The fin comes right out of that fish. And that's the way it looks, got a hollow place up in there. And, it, and it's really important when you fry them whole to have that. And now I'll do the bottom the same way. On each side, and then I push. Put my knife down and push. Hey, and now 
we got a hole up in there. So now I take and chop it at a 45. And that leaves us with a fish like that. Now, what I do at this point is I go behind that air sack and I scrape it out. And at this point, what I like to do is I like to put a notch there, a notch there, and sometimes three notches. And you're gonna fry them whole. Hey, that's a good, what happens is it fries in these cracks and it fries re really good. And so when you go to eat it, you just put your finger on each crack and pull a hunk of meat out. Hey, I'm telling you, that is a fine eat. Let's do another one. I'm gonna do this a little faster. What I do is I cut on each side of that fin, roll him over, get this side, push out. Fin comes out, cut him that way, Flip him over, cut him that way, fins out. And then 45 across, and then we go in, in the hole there and, and along behind the air sack, and then we'll put two notches on him. Hey, and we got him done. See what I'm talking about? Okay, we're doing nothing. Each side. Push out. That side. On the bottom. This side. Push out. 45 across, cut his head off, up under the air bladder, clean it out, notch him. He's done. You'll do it again. Each side. Push it out. Flip the fish. Push it out. 45 across. Through the, through the belly up the air sack, clean him out, notch him a couple times, he's ready to go. That quick. Y'all like my style? And I've cleaned so many fish in my life. Hey, I'm pretty fast now. I can really go when I'm in a hurry. If I got a football game starting in 20 minutes, I can move. And that's what I usually do. I'm always the last second cleaning all these fish. Notch him. That, my friend, is a fine piece of meat. The little ones like that is the ones I prefer. I do the same things with the little ones. Okay. Cut him across there. Hey, y'all probably laughing. That little fish can't be no good. That little fish right there, you don't even have to notch him, but that little fish right there fried up hard will make you want to slap your mama. Nobody don't do that. Please don't slap your mama. But I'm telling you, this is an old saying. Make you want to slap your mama. Hey. All right. Cut him on each side. Pull the fin out. 45 across. Out. Notch him twice. He's done. And this is a little bit bigger. All right. Fin. Each side the fin. Push. Push down on that knife and I'll pull it right out. This is my method. I never, nobody taught me this. This is the way I've always done it. They fry better like this. You can leave them fins on, but they don't fry as good. Notching. You got something fit to eat right there, people. Now, we're going to find us another, a bigger one. And I'm going to do another filet for you. That and that's probably about a pound perch. All right. Go down to the bone. Stop right there. Grab the head. Turn the knife. Go down toward the tail. Leave the blade right against the uh, backbone. Do the same thing. Hold the fish down toward the tail. Hey. Now, take that right along that bone. Rib cage. Turn the knife blade. And out you go. You got a piece of filet. And like I say, you can trim that little red meat out right there, but it, a perch ain't that, ain't that strong. And you got a filet, fit deep. All right. Do the other side. Right against the blade, uh, rib cage rather. Right out. Flip him over. You want to cut that little trim out right there, you can really makes it really good. You're wasting not much, just a little bit. Cat, you got to eat. Hey, you got your nice little piece of filet. Look at that. All right. We'll scale a couple more. See how fast we can really get.
hope y'all enjoying this. But this is what I do every day. Hey, it ain't easy to come home tired, clean fish. But it's something you got to do. If you're going to take it out of the water, not throw it back, you've got to make good use of it. My daddy taught me not to waste. We don't waste. I don't shoot nothing to catch nothing that I can't. somebody can't eat. Never will you see me throwing something away. A fish or an animal. It's a sin to kill or catch and destroy it and not use it. That's the way I was taught. And I still believe that. We pretty fast, ain't we? These things ain't that easy to scale. You just got to put your mind to it and go fast. A lot of people throw these little bitty ones back. I throw a lot of them back. Y'all see me throw them back. But uh, if he's kind of foul hooked or uh, uh, look like he might not make it, I don't throw him back. I'm not going to waste it. Sometimes you throw it back and they'll come floating up top of the water. That ain't going to work. Now, if Loney's there, you throw him back, I promise you, it won't get wasted. Loney got him. That loan's starting to show back up now. And next, it won't be long. They'll be, the whole lake will be full of loans. I see a couple over there now. I don't think none of them are my loans that normally come back to me yet. But they will. They'll show up and they remember the old fisherman. I can assure you that. And who don't remember me, they'll figure out real quick who's catching some fish and throwing some fish. Hi, folks. Hey, sorry about that. Doggone uh, fella called me and knocked my video off. Hey, but well, we scaled them up fast and putting them in the pan. Now that out there's a nice, nice perch. You got to love them that size. Old fisherman's pretty fast, ain't he? What I'm thinking. I don't know if anybody out there can outscale me. When I was little, my daddy had me scaling all his fish. He didn't clean fish. I cleaned his fish. So I started out young, cleaning fish. And uh, hey, I know a lot of you out there is wanting to, was curious what I do with all my fish. This is what I do. I come home and clean them, put them in the freezer. Matter of fact, that phone call is somebody that's coming over and uh, he's bringing me something. So I'm sure he'll take some of these fish with him. And uh, hey, you can barter or whatever. But uh, these, these perch are non-game fish, no limit on them. And uh, hey, you ain't got to worry about a limit and, you, and they good eat. That's why I like to uh, zero in on perch. But uh, hey, glad y'all could be with me on another video. And uh, we might... Uh, put a little bit of fish catching. I ain't sure how I'm going to do this yet, but uh, anyhow, I want to show you how I clean my fish every day and uh, I got a couple more for you. Take the intestines out a couple more and then I'll let y'all go. Make sure y'all getting a good view of what I'm doing. I'm probably one of the few that, that, that does like this. Cut the fin out and I like them like that. Hey, that's just the way I started doing it, and I like the way they fry, and so I kept on doing it. If you people hadn't tried it, it's easy. Each side of the fin and push it out. Go to the bottom, do the same thing, kind of push it out. Right across the head. And that cat's going crazy, wanting something to eat. Uh, just a simple way to do it. It takes a little bit longer. I can just chop the head off them. One other reason I do that, when you put them in the freezer bags, uh, them fins on there poke a hole in it. So the tail won't poke a hole in it. So by doing this, I eliminate all the possibility of getting a hole cut in my freezer bag when I put them in there. But uh, hey, just to give you all an idea, what the old fishermen do. Listen, I appreciate each and every one of you that watches my channel. I don't appreciate the thumbs down, guys. 
But anyhow, I reckon he's got to do it to make himself feel good. I've got to buy four of them that loves to do that. But I appreciate each and every one of you. It gives me a thumbs up and watches my video, and I hope I've helped you uh, learn something. Uh, my methods, it might not be a method you want to do, but it's my method, and I'm showing you what I do. So, uh, hey, thanks for watching my show, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And maybe if I live long enough and we keep on going, sometimes I, I, I might want to kind of slow down, but we keep on going. Maybe one day we'll get 10,000 subscribers, and maybe at that point we'll blossom. But until then, it's slow going. A lot of work for very little. So we in the very little stage. A lot of effort we go through. My Miss Deborah is uh, takes a long time to put these edit, to edit these videos and go through them. I'm learning the editing program and uh, trying to do a little bit better to help her out. But hey, you know, and a lot of it's the same stuff. I, I hate to keep putting the same stuff up, but I that's why I'm cleaning these fish. Try to give you a little bit of something different. But, uh, hey, I'm sorry if y'all get tired of it. But, I, you know, I generated this show on y'all going with me on my fishing trips. And, uh, and that's basically what I'm doing. And uh, I'm not young enough to be climbing up creek banks and stuff like that. I got a little bit old. So we got to do what we got to do. And hope you enjoy it. But thanks to each and every one of you that's bought a T-shirt. A uh, hat that helps a little. Um, got a lot of T-shirts left though, so if anybody out there wants a T-shirt, go to my store, stevecumlander.com, and I would really appreciate it. I'd like to at least get my money back on the shirt. But hey, we try, and I uh, hope that I've taught some youngsters something, somebody that really don't know how to fish something that maybe they can go out and be successful and really enjoy the sport of fishing and uh, because it truly makes me feel good when I go fishing. It's my therapy and there's none other like it and it's, it's a challenge and therapy all in one. It's a challenge to catch these fish every day, get on them because every day is a different day. It's not near as easy as some days I make it look. This was probably a bad day, but I had 30-something with a five-gallon bucket full, and hey, can't complain about that. I was fortunate to be able to catch that many, and uh, hey, talking to y'all, I don't know how long the video's gonna be, but hey, we'll bite got them clean. We don't like but a few more, so, but anyhow, after I get this head cut off and in the bucket, I'm gonna let y'all go, uh, but I appreciate it. Each and every one of you, and uh, for watching the old fisherman videos. And we're in the backyard. Miss Deborah probably ain't gonna like this. Down there where the leaves is falling on my table and all, this is a better setup. But I appreciate you watching. I hope you learn uh, maybe uh, a new way to clean fish. And thank you so much for watching the old fisherman videos. See you on next trip. Go fishing because it's good for you. We'll see you.